so far I got this pipe cut out and then I got four brackets made and I just gotta I'm gonna weld them to that and then maybe call it a day I just got done cutting this out. This is the second bracket for the passenger side for the rear shock at the bottom, lower shock mount. And then I got out this little bracket, so I'm gonna weld this to there like that. And then I can weld this to the axle. And then I got a 24 millimeter socket just shoved in there to hold it from squeezing. And then, I, cause I don't really care if it spreads, so I'll just make it easier to get the shock on. And then I just jammed a bunch of uh, nuts and washers in a long heritage bolt, cause that's what I have. Okay, so right now, the problem is the fender. Um, I cut as much as I could, and now the tire hits the radiator support. As you can see, radiator support is right through that hole. And then this is normally bent. I normally have that bent 90. So that's this hole right there. So I got to figure out how to cut like two inches out, like to here. I gotta chop this whole like front corner out basically. And I was thinking about maybe doing like an angle. So this is what I ended up doing for more tire clearance. Cut about two inches off right here. And then the fender used to come straight down and I just cut this and just bent it over like that. Okay, so you can see right at the marker light how much room there is. I'll go to the other side. I didn't do this side yet. Look at that, right at the marker light. Look at all that material. At the same time. So I pulled apart the loom here that holds the automatic transmission controller and the speed sensor. I'm gonna rewrap them. I'm gonna send the speed sensor back down separately and then i'm just going to run this uh, automatic transmission controller with all my other abs wires and transfer case wires that are shoved down there huh okay since the first drive i had to do a few things so first thing I did was it didn't have shocks on it. I had to finish this shock tower. You can see I put my, I got a uh, zip tie that's like over here. Second thing I did is I added a spring in. You can see the uh, second from the bottom or third from the bottom spring I added in. And that actually lifted it an inch, adding that spring in there. I added some fuel line on my uh, brake hoses. 
just for, to prevent them from chafing. And on the inside. Okay, and on here, I ended up making this custom hand throttle. That's all I did, and I adjusted my clutch. That's all I did in here. You can see my line running. All right, I'm just going to measure just for reference. So bottom of the headlight is 39. Bottom of the bumper is 36 and a half. Front spring perch is 22 and a half. And frame rail is 21 and a half. And this truck only has 33s. Well, actually, what? 32 and a half. So only. If you look, they're only. 285, 75, 16s.